Trying to keep my hands warm. It's cold. Every day is cold and the sun's in my eyes. But, you know, I'm still smiling. My hair's still not growing. But it's all good because I've got another bike for you. Let's just cut straight to the walk round. If you watched a, a recent video of mine where I went over bikes that MotoGB import, what happens if there's a slight mark on them or what happens if they just get lost and forgot about? They've got hundreds if not thousands of bikes in a warehouse and it's easy to not misplace but to forget about one and this is one of those bikes that has just been forgotten about the bonus is it's now into moto which means i get to ride it which means you get to see if it's any good because i'll tell you if it's good i'll tell you if it's rubbish i'll tell you so this is the sim t125 this was one of the bikes that i really liked the look of when i was showing a couple of these forgotten bikes at the front of the shop a couple of weeks ago this was one that i really wanted to ride now i've got the opportunity to before we do let's just do a quick walk around i'll show you a couple of the styling things that i like if there's anything I don't like, I'll tell you. But let's just walk around usual way. Let's go. So there's the close-up. Now, first thing you'll notice, it's quite sunny, but you can see a nice reflection in the paint there. It's very sparkly, which is weird for something that looks like camouflage. Very noticeable, but that's good. You want to be seen. So I like that, I like the fact it's got a bit of a sparkle when the sun hits it. I also like the styling, a mini adventure bike this. I say mini, it's not even that small, it's quite big, but it's only got a 125 engine. It has got a chain, spoke wheels as rear pegs for your pillion and a decent grab handle as well. So if you do take somebody on the back, they've got something to grab onto i like that standard suspension no upside down forks here i like the front as well the front is very v-strummy v-strummy i know that's not a word but it should be little wind deflector we'll see if that's any good when we're out and about and all the way around i think you can see that paint job a little bit better without the sun glare it's it's actually quite nice i like it the nice looking bike i do like the exhaust as well when you consider it's a 125 bike the exhaust looks quite big it would give the impression that it's a bigger bike i think there's the view from the back end now it does look like the bars are raised quite a lot so that should make for a comfortable ride again you're only going to know that if you join me for the test ride so please do buttons 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 yeah very basic because again it, it is quite a basic bike this so you've just got your horn you've got indicators high low beam and you've got your pass other side even more basic just your engine start engine cut off and that is all she wrote the usb place there so there is somewhere to plug your phone into charge i like it like it and there is loads of room on the bars as well to attach a sat nav i like the quad lock i know everyone's got their own preference can't get my words out it's very cold and i'm shivering we yeah, have loads of room to attach what you need we've got a center stand and there is a side stand as well center stands brilliant as far as chain maintenance goes as far as taking your rear wheel off should you have a puncher just loads easier to have one right. it is just a very quick walk around there's not loads of stuff on this really to talk about so i'm hoping it does its talking when i take it for a ride because this is one that i really wanted to ride because it's a little bit different that's why i wanted to ride it that's why it stood out for me when there was a lot of bikes out that were from the 
I want to call it like the forgotten room. We call it the forgotten room at MotoGB where bikes just go and get forgotten about. But not anymore, they're all coming here. I've never even seen a geared sim before. I just obviously don't get out much. That's true, actually, I don't. But I'm going to, I'm going to start. But we're going to start by taking this out. Let's just go for a ride. I'll tell you if it's any good. Come on, let's go. It does feel a bit like a big boy bike, this. Just going to do a quick stand-up test. Actually, perfect for me, that, for standing up. It does help the fact that the bars seem to be raised a little bit, but that's just a perfect position for me. I do find the bars are very close to me when I'm just sat down. Stood up, brilliant position. When I'm sat down, they're just very close. It has that big bike comfort to it. So when it picks up speed and it is quite smooth, there's not a lot of vibration. There's not a lot of screaming from the engine. It's just nice and refined, quite pleasant actually. It's nice through the bends. Again, it just gives you just confidence inspiring actually around the bends it is and i was saying on the walk round that the screen itself is quite basic and it is in in that it's an old school lcd type screen but there is a lot of information on the you can see the rev meter at the top and there's a big speedo which is good but you've also got your fuel gauge, we've got your total miles, and there's even a gear indicator on there as well. And I do like to see a gear indicator on a bike, especially on a 125. And that for me is purely because on the smaller engine bikes, you are going up and down the gears on the regular. So if you are around town and you're going up and down up and down all the time it's nice to know what gear you're in and that way you shouldn't get stuck and go for the wrong gear and you're not gonna you're not gonna stall or you shouldn't stall oh it's another bitterly cold day it is quite windy you could probably hear that on the camera this screen does little to nothing I am still getting a face full of wind. I can feel the wind on the top half of my body as well. So it's not really offering any sort of protection. It looks nice though. It had 25 miles on it when I first took it out. So it is just like a brand new bike, essentially. That's what it is. Now a brand new one of these is about 2,900 pound I believe that's the on the road price or it might be just under 3,000 pound with the the registration and everything of the bike now I've been told that this one is going to have 500 pound or it's going to be 500 pound cheaper than that so a 500 pounds saving on essentially what is a brand new bike now i think that is unbelievable value as a 125 bike goes it just feels bigger now what i will say though however is i'm i'm not a tall person if you've watched my videos you know that now i'm not a tall person but while i'm sat here I do feel like these bars are quite close to me. So if you are a gorilla of a man with long arms, and I say man because I'm sure you ladies aren't built that way. But if you if you are a larger person and you have large arms in particular, you may well find this bike to be a little bit cramped for you. Let's talk fuel. 125s are quite fuel efficient, aren't they? Usually you're talking around the 100 miles per gallon mark on a 125. Now, if you work out the fuel that you could buy for this bike with 500 pound, 500 pound is gonna get you thousands of miles. So you could look at it as getting loads and loads of miles for free, 
or just look at it as 500 pound off that's how i would do it that's how i would always justify buying it being a single man i don't need to justify buying bikes anymore i can just buy them and then anybody who asks me why i can say because i can so if you're single just buy a bike and stop messing stop messing buy a bike honestly life changing let's get this yeah they do a deal on some accessories i'm sure they would and the accessory i would be going for is going to be those heater grips because they're an absolute must oh look at that now for a big quite imposing bike or for a 125 it is quite easy for a little bit of filter in there quite easy in and out of traffic straight to the front of the queue now again just talking about that right so if you are considering buying a bike and you think oh that's quite big i want a little one it is quite a light bike i've just been kind of going in and out of traffic there at low speeds and it is very very easy to maneuver around like that very easy there's no issues with it at all and you know if you are the type of person that thinks oh i don't want to get a little 125 because i'm a big boy and i don't want to look like a learner or you know there are people out there like that this gives the impression of a much bigger bike i mean i'm i'm not quite tiptoes i'm on the balls of my feet with this bike so it is quite a tall bike for somebody who's average height like myself so if you are as i say i wish i was average height i'm five foot eight so if you're any smaller than five foot eight and you're interested in something like this you will have to throw your leg over one just to check that you don't feel like it's too big for you but if you're taller you'd be fine it's a nice bike this i actually like it this bike is something different i think that's why i like this bike it is different to the norm you won't see many of them out and about but it is it is a lovely bike to ride it goes through the gears really nicely power delivery is nice and smooth it is a mini adventure bike this bike is for sale within two moto i would recommend one of these because i think they look nice they're very different the big and imposing for a 125 and comfortable importantly and if you can save money on one like this then even better but in two moto do sell brand new ones as well should you want a brand new one different color or whatever but this is the one that's going to save you all the money so if you're interested link in the description thanks for watching i'm going for a warm because i'm bloody freezing <laughs> catch you on the next one laters